Hello Sporting Bet customers, um, getting ready to actually go to Skype, but before that I thought I'll um, have a look at some of the games that are taking place on Tuesday, today, on the uh, Champions League. Got some notes in front of me, of course uh, this camera has been held on the, the top of the computer, and I've chosen three games which I think are relevant because uh, there are good betting opportunities I feel, uh, starting by Valencia Genk. I spoke to the manager of Valencia yesterday and what I saw was a man that was really distressed by the fact that they had actually uh, lost against Real Madrid on one hand but also the way they lost he felt that they made individual mistakes that created those chances for Real Madrid but as a team they play really well he feels they are at a completely different level than they were when they drew against Genk a game that he felt also Valencia should have won so all in all, what we're saying here is that uh, Valencia are superior to Genk, that they pro probably will even beat them by a couple of goals. And I tell you what, one man that may score even those goals is Soldado. Soldado is in top form, scored three goals against Real Madrid. One of them was disallowed. And uh, as I've got here, he scored half, half of his side's La Liga goals and he's netted in both home Champions League matches this season. So... How about two goals by Soldado and also the first one of the game? I think Valencia will win. There's another interesting game as well that's uh, Bayern Villarreal for different reasons. You need to know what kind of Villarreal are going to go to Bayern. This is going to be a home victory, I've got no doubt about that. This is a different Villarreal to the one that some of you may know. So it's not so much a team that keeps possession anymore. They're actually trying to get results and in the way that the small teams try to get results, defending deep and then using the counter to uh, surprise teams, that is not enough against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich gave them a lesson at the Madrigal in Spain a couple of months back and I think it's going to be something similar. Villarreal could be hurt badly here, it could be more than three goals scored against them and it's a shame because that will obviously mean that uh, they have no chance then to make it into the Europa League or anything like that. That's it for them in Europe. And uh, Napoli City will be the other one. And, and I'm saying that because I've, I've had a look at the odds and uh, sporting bet customers probably know more than any. But in any case, it is surprising that Napoli are odds against at home. Europe is different to the Premier League. We've seen a Manchester City that has only dropped two points this season in 12 games. And... That shows that it's a team that defends well, of course, and that up front have got so much power that they can beat anybody. But in Europe it's different because for those strikers to actually make uh, some kind of harm, you need the assist, you need the service. And I think teams in Europe are cleverer about the way they stop the likes of Silva or Nasri or Yaya Touré. So all in all, I think... Uh, that Napoli are clever enough, intelligent enough, tactically uh, versatile enough to actually play the counter against Manchester City. They did so at, uh, at Manchester and they could have surprised uh, City, of course. And I think they're not going to lose. I don't, see, I don't see Napoli losing, especially considering as well that everybody is fit. Uh, you have the Hamsik and Lavezzi and everybody else who is, uh, who is available, Cavani too. So you, you're going to have a team that is in full strength. So is Manchester City, but a draw is probably a most uh, uh, likely outcome. It will be a game with goals in both halves because they all, both of them in Europe have conceded goals and it looks like they're still not uh, clever enough to actually keep clean sheets. So how about a high scoring draw man, amongst these two sides? Uh, I'm looking here, it says Napoli have conceded four of the five goals of this campaign before halftime. So how about if City scores first? But I see Napoli coming back. This could be a, perhaps a 2-2. So that's it for now, Sporting Bet customers. Talk to you soon.